ever try this. To open up your third eye and unlock your deepest wishes, you first have to draw the symbol on your hand. Now draw a line going from the symbol all the way to the tip of your index finger. Now dip your finger in a bowl of water and place the finger on your forehead. Blink fast for three seconds and your third eye will now open up. You can now get your wish. But be careful as some can't handle it when they see through the third eye. Are you brave enough to try this? Then heart this video and follow my account. <laughs> There is no going back after watching this. What if I told you that you are not a human being but an ancient being called a spiritum? Spiritums are beings that have come from the fourth dimension into the third dimension and by doing this you have trapped yourself in a human body. You are a very powerful being capable of incredible real life magic. There are few people on earth who have discovered this truth and live every day being able to use their magic powers. Once you have unlocked your abilities you can control the world around you and can even make anyone you want fall in love with you. Wanna unlock your abilities? Then heart this video and follow my account. This is my life now. The fuck, bro? Get the fuck out. Go. Don't ever call this phone number. If you ever call this phone number, you will hear a strange man repeating 1, 3, and 7 in a creepy voice. Shortly after he has repeated them a few times, you will hear a loud siren followed by a quiet whisper of your first name. There will be a brief silence after he has said your name. Soon after, you will hear the same man saying, we have connected. The phone will now hang up. It is said that the sequence of numbers and the loud noise at the end is designed to hypnotize the person on the phone. After this phone call, you will hear the numbers 1, 3, and 7 at random times for the next three days. Are you brave enough to try this? Like this video and follow my account for more creepy numbers. This is some weird scurry shit. Oh, hell no, you guys. Have to see this. What the heck is that? And I blame. <gasps> okay, I'm free. <gasps> oh my god. Did you say that? Oh my god! No. So it's not like bad. In <gasps> what it is? That. Oh. And. You'll have doors opening and closing, drawers opening. A little blow on the back of my head. Guys, I'm literally freaking out. It's 3 a.m. And I just got a notification from myself. I don't know what the heck to do, oh my god. I'm literally shaking. You should never attempt this for two reasons. One, if you pull snake's shed off prematurely, you can end up hurting it. I'm not really pulling on it as much as I'm letting the snake slide out of my hand. Two, this snake is a black mamba, and if I was causing the snake any pain or if it wasn't okay with what I was doing, it would end me quicker than you could say GameStop to the moon.
Black Mambas are not the most venomous snake in the world, but they are one of the fastest traveling venomous snakes in the world. So I'm not gonna reach my hand in there. I have lost my grip, so I'm just gonna let her finish this up on her own now, but she got a nice start. I was soaking her in the tub below her, and she pooped and started the shedding process. So on her way back in, I just decided to help her out a little bit. But again, never attempt to pull off your snake shed prematurely. Thank you.